So, good morning or afternoon, should I say. Come over here. Having had the letter from George's inclusion service, I won't be able to take him out. Um, the letter will apply to the police if need be. I'll take him out to one of his normal, and this is one of his normal jaunts, um, to cut over bridge. There's no one else here. It's just me and him. I'm sure that probably people are going to drive past and think I'm taking the mick. However, it's essential that he gets out for his own health and well-being. I have got a letter and email provided from the inclusion service to show the police if they do come. So I'm sure they will, probably at some point, for, for very long. Um, but yeah, we're just going to see how we go. Just get him out for an hour. Come here! Careful! See, this is where he normally likes to go. And just throw stones. So, he does have a wander around the edge, but it's not deep. It's very shallow. He's got stones on. around no one normally this is really busy here careful careful Careful. No, don't go down there. Well done. Well done. Throw it. Ready? Go. Well done. Stones. So do some stones. I'll get with you in a minute. Well done. Yay, well done. Whoa, good throwing. Well done. Oh! Well done! Well done! Where did? Where's Woody gone? Yeah. Careful! No, don't go down there! Don't go near the water! Good boy! Good boy! Hello! Hello! Is it down? Hey! Say hello! Say hello everybody! Trying to do two stones at once. Wow! Well done! What are you doing? Yeah, so, as we sit here on a Tuesday just after Easter, Obviously, it's completely deserted apart from me and George, which is a good thing. Apart from, I can hear a couple of horse riders behind me. Yeah, there they are. Obviously, horses need exercise. Careful! Um, so does George. And taking him out in the local rather than taking him in his rural where we normally take him at places like this is extremely difficult. He doesn't understand social distancing. If a dog comes up to me to touch it, or someone comes up to him, he's going to touch them or say hello to him and physically touch somebody. He wouldn't think twice about it. So, thankfully, we've had this letter, and I think that's going to help. Yeah, so we've been here about 40 minutes. We're going to do an hour, and then I'll take him back. He's not going to want to go back. That's going to be the problem. Careful, please. He just likes flirting with the edge of the water all the time. He's pretty safe when he does it, but 
and it is really shallow but I don't really want to get his new vans getting soaking wet um, and then having to dry them maybe he won't be very happy if they get wet I couldn't find his wellies so I thought they were in the boot and they weren't careful so yeah we're just spending an hour here as prescribed by the authorities trying to keep on the right side of the law with regard to taking them out obviously it's not just the fact that we can sort of get in here we're because he needs to there he is careful there he is judge come and say hello careful well done yeah see he likes flirting on the edge he likes getting near the edge he doesn't he's never fell in but he's all the fire so i'm not wouldn't be surprised if he did fall in it's, it's literally not very deep but it's it's the fact that his shoe's getting wrecked so yeah this is just where he can go look without being in a harness without being attached to me holding my hand i can let him just get a bit of exercise and burn some well done burn some calories off and he doesn't need to be stuck in the garden which is nice so thanks to the advisory team including the advisory team for sorting that out um i think it's gonna be a big help in the coming weeks if this goes on for a long time so yeah, maybe we'll catch you back when I get help because I haven't got much longer and then we're going to have to go so he's just enjoying digging out some stones and, and throwing some stones so I don't know what you would have. we're lucky to have this close to us I mean this is where we normally go anyway it's a 15 minute drive, it's not very far um, but obviously they're trying to avoid people from going to these spots in case people have injuries or you know, something happens or I mean, they've got to cater for that person and unnecessary trouble but this is a nece necessity sorry for George because walking up the road safely not touching cars not touching lampposts which people have been touching and things like that is just impossible especially with no end outcome of where we're going when we're going somewhere with him he thinks we're going somewhere to do something so if we're just going for a walk 20 minutes around the block he doesn't understand that when we walk back home and that just ensues meltdown after meltdown so I think if we can do this once or twice a week, that will really help him. Say bye. Can you sit down then? Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, water. Bye bye, water. We're just heading back now. Okay, so it's nearly eight o'clock, and Adam's on his way to Asda because no Tesco, because we've got an Asda delivery earlier, and a few of the important things um, they missed off. So, um in my jammies and um, we've just had dinner so Adam took George to Cadover which I'm sure you're going to see the videos for um, so when Adam got back George was just a nightmare to be fair both the boys oh I'm so over this lockdown um, it's really difficult and George is starting to get more vocal and everything even when he knows it's time for bed. Uh, so the manicness just never stops. So um, we're currently on Tuesday and um, Adam's only got a few more days off before he's back to work and I'm left to try and stay sane. So yeah, but the good thing was that Matthew and I did some more paintings to add to the wall today. I like that little art wall that we've got going on. So yeah, that's basically it. Adam's off to Tesco. I am quiet, so um, I'm just going to be chilling out until he gets back. Done all the cleaning and everything, so nothing needs to be done. Um, my turn to get up in the morning, so um, I'm sure I'll start a little vlog or something then. <laughs> 